the Legionary's Life. So I already recorded an episode of this last time, or but what happened was I didn't have my microphone enabled. So you guys couldn't have heard anything. So, um, well, that was a problem, obviously. So now I'm recording a new video. Um, this was my last character. Not very creative when it comes to names. Anyway, so let's get into a new game. Um, so Legionary's Life is where you're a legionary. You're going through a couple campaigns. We'll go through about, at most, around three campaigns today, as I'm only playing the demo. Um, within the demo is Battle for New Carthage. It's another thing we can't exactly remember. Um, I like to go for more of a physical character, because Constitution... Is your health, quickness, so fast you attack, I believe. Um, right here it explains it nicely. <laughs> Strength is the influence on the damage deal. Endurance allows you to fight. Best of your ability longer. Constitution is health. Quickness makes you act more frequently in combat. Coordination helps you recover faster and more effectively when you lose your stance. Charisma. Shouldn't have to explain that. Awareness is how aware you are. Intellect is how, well, is, um, uh, represents your logic and decision-making. Um, so I don't really know if I, so I believe these are the mental stats and these are the physical stats. So I'm going to try to roll a mental character. Wow, it's really bad health. Better. Um... I th this is why I like to go for more of a physical character. So, like, high constitution. I'll stop rolling once I get maybe around a 60 constitution or so. Um, just give me a couple seconds while I'm rolling. Might edit this out. 61. Ooh, 70 endurance and 58 strength. Not very quick or coordinated. My awareness isn't the best. I'm the average. Yeah, alright, I can do with this. Well, let's see, what's your name? So, um, maybe Demetrius? Um, yes. Demetrius. I'm not good at spelling, I'll tell you that. Um, they really have them, though. So this is basically just saying the first war for Carthage, what happened, I'll let you guys read this, I'll give you a second to read it, you guys can pause the video. Uh huh. I've read this several times, I'm not really interested in reading it right now. So, I'm gonna let you guys read it. Read it. It's basically kind of the history of Rome. Following and during the Battle of the First of Carthage itself. Um, <laughs> so I believe this is starting to be the start of the, of the downfall of the Roman Empire. I believe um, with my when the when I get my full game when I get the full game um too soon, I'll be able to go. I believe I can go to Spain eventually. It'll be pretty interesting. Um. So, yeah. So this is going to be my new game for a little bit until I beat it. They should run pretty good with my microphone. Um. Hopefully the microphone's working this time because I really don't want to have to re-record this. Um, let's see. Right, so when you start out, you're just a mere legion. There we go. Um, there's the thing for you. We should almost be done, but this is why I don't read it, because it'll take forever. Um. Alright, so right here. We can go training, work out, we can buy and sell stuff, we can do some leisure, or miscellaneous. Here we can look at our character, so it tells us all our stats, our inventory, what we have on us, 
and the deeds, which is the people we've killed or uh, awards. Vanquished enemies. Save and exit is saving and leaving. Um, morale, I believe, directly influence. Uh, I think it influences how you fight. Your virtue, how good you feel about yourself, or how good of a person you are. Opinions, uh, how good the troop feels about you. If the centurion likes you enough, you get promotions. Uh, I think uh, your opinion by the troop depends on. Uh, I'm not sure what that depends on. And prosecute. Constacle. I don't know what that does. I don't know what happens if he has a high like rating of you, but never seen it get high at all. Anyway, so usually I like to go for the training first, do some javelin practice with. So I, when the first battle comes, um, over here is the overexercise stress, eh, which I t oh something happened here. Um, so something was hap something happened. A little event triggered. Your physical prowess gives you a significant advantage whenever you are sent out to gather firewood. You regularly perform better than average, and even remedy your comrades' shortcomings. Um, my opinion of the centurion has increased by two. My opinion of the troop has increased by two. So I'm just going to keep on doing some javy practice. The morale has gone down, which... I gotta go do some leisure. I like to just hang around because you typically lose nothing from it. Just increase mo your morale. And sometimes, you know, the troop like you more for just hanging around with them. Do some workouts. Gym usually gets up your constitution and your strength. Constitution and strength. Not getting any better. Proceeds regular pay. Spread it. Um. So, you're stuck with an especially aggressive sparring partner this morning. Decius has been here in Hispania since long before your arrival. He is one of the su survivors of the last year's um, debacle. debacle. I don't know what that word is. Um, his blade has come dangerously close to your throat twice already. Even a wooden practice sword can be lethal when it's used like that. I'm just going to keep on going. And... Try to stand your ground as best you can, but he's too skilled for you. Quick slash on your arm, um, and a thrust at your ribs leave you panting and gasping. Trying hard to shrug off the pain, you keep going till the end of the practice session. And now I'm just gonna do a bit of easier. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a lot of morale through this. And when this time's up, we go off to our first battle. Wow, I'm having a lot of this stuff. You have no Quintus Labinus since you were kids. Now he's in the same manipul as you. You notice that he's been acting very nervously of late. I'm going to ask what's wrong. Um, after a little persuasion, you convince him to spit it out. You remember that Quintus lost his father in the disaster of Canaanite about six years ago. Um, then again, there is a heart there's hardly anyone in Rome who has not lost someone in that gre grievous day. Your leaders believed they could crush Hannibal's army by sheer force of numbers. He proved them wrong. The harshest lesson ever taught in a living memory. I believe I know what happened here. So the Romans went quantity over quality here and tried to beat an army in the mountains, I believe. Quintus has been waiting for a chance to fight back for such a long time, and yet now he has his opportunity is drawing near. His fear of dying in the impending battles is prevailing. One can hardly blame him, considering that your armies faced disaster on disaster since we since the war began. After sharing his concerns with you, Quintus looks covertly relieved, or overtly relieved. He thanks you for your for the talk and goes about his business. So my virtue increased by two, and the troop like me more. It's gonna hang around a bit longer. So before this time ends, I'm gonna go see what I can buy with my 99 denarii. Woo! That's pretty good. Um, not affordable, but pretty good. Um, no one grieves. Um, so. Penalties, quickness. 
kind of expensive, but they protect my legs. 30. I don't really know how the combat system works too well, so I can't really explain that to you guys. All I know is that something happens behind the scenes. Um, can't really afford much of this. That's a large penalty for the... Well, let's see if we're gonna compare it. So ten, oh, all right, maybe. Might want it. Um, head's the most important part of your body. But then again, I'd rather be covered all the way through. Make you look more... Oh, no, I'll buy this. Yep. I'll equip it. Click on sell. You go to your helmet. Light Celtic helmet. You sell it. As for time left, yep. Um, I'm just gonna go do a bit of extra patrol. And now we gotta move on to the first war where we will when we march out to do Carthage. Yeah, the capital of the Carthaginian colony is here in Hispania. It's a daring move and very risky. Several days later you reach your destination, set up camp not far from the city. According to the camp talk, the closest enemy army is about a ten days march from here. A long siege is out of the question. You'll have to take New Carthage by storm. You cast a glance at the city walls, strong city walls, strong stone walls. The thought of fighting your way up there makes your stomach churn. It's hard not to think that you may be looking at the place where your final, where your days will end. So here we have 65 health. That can be brought down really quickly. I'm not very aware. I can endure a lot, and I'm pretty strong. So when I do hit, I'm going to hit hard. On the next morning, your random pull is among the first to move at the camp reach plant site in front of the city. If what your centurion said is true, the garrison of New Carthage consists of a small mercenary army, possibly 1,000 strong, and of course, the city militia. You're taking your place on the battlefield, when all of a sudden, the si cries of alarm rise up from the ranks. Look ahead with a start. The city gate is wide open and screaming mass numbers, numbering thousands, leaves the safety of the walls, quickly closing the gap between you with your partially deployed line. Judging by their scant equipment, they must be the militia. The enemy commander wouldn't risk his precious mercenaries like this. Blood pounding in your ears, you get ready to receive them as the first battle of your life engulfs you. Dun, 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 da, 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 da. Um, when others, when the other side is at the right distance, you prepare to hurl your first javy. I'm going to pick off a specific target, probably going to miss. Oh, I hit. Your target skillfully def deflects the missile, but at least you've caused some minor disruption into the enemy formation. So I actually hit my target. Very rare. Well, not rare, but hard to do. As the other side gets closer and closer, you steal yourself for the incoming fight. So here, you got your attitude, you got your balance, you got your fatigue, and you got your health. Health reaches to zero, you die. Um, balance is how likely you are to get hit by your enemy, and how less likely you are to hit. Fatigue right here is how likely you are to, um, uh, I think it's like, it affects your quickness or something like that. Here you have your attitude. If I want to go more defensive, I'm less likely to get hit. But I hit a lot. I'm li less likely to hit as well. If I go offensive, I'm more likely to hit, less likely to, or more likely to get hit. Right here, this little blue bar is, ha is my chance of hitting him when I throw it. I throw my javelin, which I always do. I typically miss. If he's going to attack my torso, he is going to be slightly off balance. So now I can go attack him in the torso. I usually like to go full offensive here. Um, because it gives me the greatest chance of hitting. I usually just slash at the torso. And I miss, which is bad. He's going to attack me. I'm going to try to recover here. And he's going to try to recover, and he recovers undisturbed. And I failed to recover twice. And now I'm going to try to recover once again. Fully recover. He's going to aim at my arm. He's really off balance right now. So I could say hit maybe one of his more open spots, which is his head, which is what I'm going to go for. 16 damage. Giant slash on the head. 
Aim for the head again. Nine damage is around half health. He's recovered successfully. I can aim at his torso. Seven damage. Gonna try to recover. Some of his fatigue failed. I'll aim at his torso. He's probably gonna not make it. Very, he's probably not gonna survive this first battle. Aim once again at the torso, and I missed. So I went off balance. He tried to charge me. Be farther off balance. For me in this game, balance is the most important thing. I try to get it above all else. If I'm, if I'm severely wounded, I'm going to try to recover, most likely. Right there. Um, again, I don't really know what pushes towards most of the things that will happen. But I know they happen. Ah. A measly one damage. What, that just little cut on me. Oh, he aimed at my neck. This is my opportunity. Hit him. Nine damage. I believe when it hits round 21, uh, no matter what happened, the round ends. So right here, I'd say it's probably... I. He's almost dead. I'm going to try to hit him last round. If I don't kill him here, I'm just going to be off balance. Nope. Not the last thing. I'm just going to recover then. Nope. Round 22. Panic spreads turn to a round. I seriously wounded him, though. So usually I'll be able to kill the first guy, but not really. Improvised pursuit is attempted, but your vanguard is stopped at the city gate before it can break in. So, so far I haven't really... Ha I just severely wounded him. He probably died on the route. Which, for those of you who don't know, which I don't know how many new viewers who are who don't actually know me in person, but I know a couple... But, so basically you're out is when you're attacking an army, and that army starts to flee. Because you just battered them so much, they decide, well, it's not worth it, let's all just run. Um, the Centurion beckons to some of your comrades after a brief talk. They move away from the maniple, and, one, and you wonder what is going on. The rest of you will storm the city walls. Many ladders are being propped up against the walls. Well, the constant shower of missiles is raining down from the battlements. The centurion promised to share his generous, a generous portion of his reward should you manage to be the first man over the walls. Should he manage to be. So I'm going to do this. This has never really worked out for me. Um, you're the first. You're one of the first to spring forward, determined to open the way. I lost my balance. I'm an easy target. My health decreased by two. Because I got hit. You are too vulnerable here. You got hit again. Health decreased by 13. The defender's resistance gets breached. Um, the centurion noticed that. I tried to help him. I got five. He likes me by five more. Um, so basically, I went up there. I pretty much nearly got killed. So not severely wounded. Had I been any other character I've had. Well, one, I had like 70 HP. Pretty good. Um, so, the Catafree is unbreakable. Cries from both enemies and allies blend with the thuds of stone and smaller projectiles bouncing all around you. Suddenly, the noise begins to dwindle and fade. You can't believe what you're seeing. Hundreds of Roman legionaries running along the top of the wall coming from the north. How did they get there? Anyhow, the Punicus are melt- the Punicus- I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't- I'm not good with Latin words, people. Um, to all who do, who can pronounce this better than me. Um, so they're melting before them, leaving the battlements unguarded. In the end, your allies reach the gate and open it, letting the bulk of your legions. So right now, I have 49 health. That's not bad. Usually, you start out with around 50. You follow your maniple to the city streets. Your orders are to very clear, secure city by killing everything that meets you in the open. Hopefully, no one will be so ill-considered. Your thoughts are interrupted when a small number of militiamen stand in your path. I can only move up. Oh, right off the bat, you go straight for my head, lad. You go straight for my head, mate. No, oh, I'm gonna drain the torso. He's gonna try to recover. He failed his recover. Once again, in the torso. Recovered. Try to. Oh, no, this might not be the best. I don't get it. Hold up. I don't get why he's so defended in his torso. All I can really do is aim for him. And I'm going to balance him and aim for my arm. I'm going to have to recover here. 
that's a, that's a considerable amount. All right, now I'm going to get a floor cover. I'm going to once again aim for his torso. And look, some of my comrades joined the fight. Hook fan attacked his neck. Dude, oh. Dude, that's dirty. I'm right for his groin. Um, all of us are just kind of not doing good. But it's a 3v1. We're all just kind of beating on him. Oh, that guy went for a soft spot in his head. So I believe the soft spots are the weakest points in their armor. Most vulnerable points to attack him at. A moop. See, I'm the only one who's done damage yet. These two guys seem a bit like bumbling idiots, if you ask me. See, look, I'm going to end up killing him. He missed. You guys are going to spend this whole turn recovering. I, I do nothing fancy. I just go slash, slash, slash in the torso. Look at the militiaman's lifeless body. Quick thoughts flicking through your mind. I pity him. He was drafted in here. Drafted into service. Forced to fight to defend his home. It does ring a bell. You wonder about the people waiting for him at home. Never to see him back. The virtue has increased by two. Officer yelling out orders brings you back down to earth with a bump and you move on. You keep marching along the streets as is custom. Looting is strictly prohibited until the battle is over. Which means at one point I will get to loot. So now if we look at this, my character and all that, still at 49. Um, I haven't really got to use a mace or pole arm or a longsword. I've never found any of this. I presume it'll happen. More so when I get out to Europe and whatnot. Um, yeah, so if you look right here, the Centurion likes me a bit. The troops like me. I'm going to continue on. New Carthage is almost conquered, but 500 mercenaries from the garrison still hold out in the Citadel. The Prosecutor is looking for volunteers for an assault on this last bastion. He's throwing um, in, more, in a more than double loot share. Well, I'm not going to risk my life. These mercenaries are nothing like the militia you have been facing until now. They may not be the enemy's best troops. Or they, they, yeah, they may not be the enemy's best troops. They wouldn't have been left here if they were, they wouldn't have been left here if they were. But they are still professional soldiers. All the most experienced legionaries are volunteering. No one would blame you if you backed off. I'm, I already did a stupid when I was helping with that one guy. I'm not going to do a stupid again. New Carthage has fallen um, uh, for the first time in so many years. A change in the tides of, of, of war appears within grasp. My morale has increased. I got 120 denarii. The army has attained an important base of operation. The city's resources will be invaluable for the rest of the time you're there. Um, so, fight in a real battle, sharpen your mind, and more aware. Or no, shield, sword, and javelin skill have increased. And I'm still the same rank. Um, um, let's see, workout. I'm gonna do some running to get quicker. Regular pay through my life is fun. Blatantly lighter than it should be. Ah, troop dislikes me more. I don't know that well, it failed. Ooh, your physical prowess gives you a significant advantage. You send together firewood, you regularly perform better. Then average and even remedy your comrades' shortcomings. The centurion likes more and the troop loves me. Do some more running. Uh, not getting any better swimming. I've worked too much. Time to go do some easier. Hang around a bit. Uh huh. Endurance. During marches and drills, you're always dynamic and full of energy. So the centurion loves me because of my. Endurance and strength and whatnot. Oh, now I'm just going to do some, like, extra guard duty. Um, tonight, you had a dream vaguely in a vaguely familiar place. You are surrounded by an olive grove, and smoke is rising from the large city on the horizon. Close to your left, a path leads down it, where exactly you can't say. Take the path. path trails uh, the slope. The hill at the bottom, you find yourself walking on a beach. Strange, the sea looked a few thousand paces away from the grove. 
that is what you think as you move towards the water. Suddenly, you rise up into the air and fly over the waves to the open sea, further and further away from the coast. You lose track of time as you are carried by the winds. You have neither control over your direction nor any idea where you are, where you're going. Finally, you see an archipelago below, and another enormous island next to it. Hundreds of ships are attacking each other. Countless death cries reach you much closer than they should be. Well, huge vessels sink beneath the waves. You wake up puzzled at, to the significance of your weird dream. Slowly, you fall asleep once more. Tomorrow will be a tough day like any other since you got drafted. Extra guard. Morale. Decreasing morale. I do this because the other people will like me more. It's a dull day at the practice yard when someone processes, um, proposes to have a small javelin throwing contest based on distance. To make things more interesting, a three denarii entry fee is sent to the one who can throw is set. The one who can throw the javelin the farthest takes the whole prize. Um, th there are about ten contest competitors, all of them young Hastati like yourself. I'm gonna join. You hand over the money and wait until it's your turn to come. I did not win. Or I know it. This looks good. Respectable throw at is the end. In the end, only two contestants managed to do better. That um regular pay. I'm gonna do a bit of training, sparring with Yeah. So I'm more likely enough to have a small chance of success, and that's how you get better, you know? Or you spar with anyone. Or anyone else. I'm not getting any better. And now I've overworked myself. I'm gonna do no, workouts. Um, a little easier. I'm gonna sing around a bit. Troop like me more. Troop like me. Troop likes me. With some of these drills and whatnot. Oh crap! I just have barely enough. Time. The centurion likes me. And the troop likes me. Um. Alright, so I'm going to buy something here. That'll be it for this video, guys. Um, it's a Lennon Curtis. I'm not going to get that. Um, whoa, 904. That's a lot of money. A lot of denarius. I'm going to compare this. 14, um, 42. I don't know what the material is, but I'm going to buy this because it... I'm just going to buy this, yes. Um... I'm going to get these greaves as well, because I don't have anything. Which means I'm going to act slower, but that also means that I'm going to survive longer. Anyway, guys, so that'll be it. So next time we will march on to our second battle. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want more content, um, please subscribe. Um, you know, so yeah. Good day. Bye!